Welcome to part six of the uh, refining series. I'm returning from my dinner or lunch date with Mrs. Three Tips. We had a most lovely time together at our favorite restaurant. And now it's time to go back to work. I'm gonna filter this solution now. It contains our palladium and get all that filter paper filtered out of this solution. So I'm just going to rinse it with some plain distilled water down into our funnel. Rinse the filter and the material in here with a little bit more distilled water. I've got all our palladium bearing solution down here in this flask. So now what we're going to do is transfer this liquid into a clean beaker. most excellent reaction. I'm going to reacidify this solution. Remember we've got the ammonia soluble palladium precipitate dissolved in this ammonia. The blue is copper, so we had some copper contamination. But now we're going to reacidify this with some hydrochloric acid and uh, get our palladium salt out of this beaker. Here we go. See how it's turning yellow? Precipitate is starting to form in there. Look at that, man. We're almost home. This is our palladium salt. We're going to filter it out of this solution now and gather it up in a filtered paper. Precipitate is not soluble in water, so I can use cold water to rinse it out of the beaker and to rinse the material off in this filter. to precipitate with some cold distilled water.
Here's our pure palladium salt in here. I've allowed it to dry overnight, get most of the moisture out of there. But uh, I'm sure everybody else is wondering, I know I am, what kind of uh, precious metal content is in this liquid down here. So we're going to start out by getting a stannous test on this and see what we got going on in that rem liquid, that waste solution down in the flask. Barely anything. Maybe just a trace of precious metals. But anyway, this solution, all these waste solutions that all the precipitate has been extracted from, they'll all go into my stock pot. Now what we're going to do is get our palladium salt into a fused quartz dish and uh, we're going to burn it and get our pure metal. We're going to get the filter that contains our palladium salt try to get this thing out of here without tearing it. going to do is slowly bring this up to temperature and calcine is what it's called the term burn the uh, palladium salt and get our pure palladium sponge one thing to note about this is that uh, that stuff is still kind of damp wet so we want to bring this up real slow temperature wise prevent it from spattering. Also, if we get it too hot, then it could start to uh, vaporize away. It will melt instead of burn to an ash, and that will cause us to lose some of our metal. So we want to heat this up real slow at first, and then we'll start adding more heat as, it, uh, as the moisture is driven off, and uh, as we get towards the end, of the calcining process. got this as hot as we're going to be able to get it on this stove top. So now what I'm going to do is take this out and put it in our furnace and complete the burn. Here we go. Thing's smoking pretty good. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit in here. I 
I've had this burning for about 20 minutes. I think we've, uh, I think we've got this where we need it. I got 321 degrees. So now what I'll do is I'll reach in here and get this. And we'll take it in and finish processing. going to start by adding some uh, grocery store borax to our material. I'm going to start with a real low flame here to kind of center the, uh, the metal up a little bit without blowing it out of that melt dish. Uh, my torch tip has fouled, so I'm going to have to shut this down and adjust that. Okay, I've got the torch tip fixed. And we're going to continue to melt.
look at that bad boy. Yeah, that's a nice looking, bright, shiny piece of pure palladium. Here's our little button of pure palladium. Finally got it melted. And uh, let's see, we're expecting about uh, between three and four grams. Looks like we got 4.8 grams. We'll take it of pure palladium. We'll go ahead and offer this for sale on my eBay site. I'll put a link to that in the uh, description of this video. This will conclude the video series on the uh, dental scrap. Recovery and refining. Thank you for watching.